So a lot of you wanted me to do a room tour. I thought, I feel like I've done one of these before but my room wasn't like how it is now. So above my wardrobe is a bit of a mess. I have a line of books up there. There's a lot of paperwork because it's all college stuff that I need to get rid of or I'm just waiting to see what to do with it. I also have a journalist canvas, a little um, jewellery box and just some other bits and bobs. Here's my little mirror. Well, it's not little, is it? But yeah, on my door handle, there's a belt <laughs> and my bum bag that I love to wear. Sorry, I was looking at it and not looking at my camera. Here's my doorstop. It's a little pug. Um, it's cute. This is my trouser section of my wardrobe. It's very colourful at the moment. I've got a little stool underneath. I've got a basket of beanies. If you remember back in the day when I used to wear a load of beanies, they're all still there. I think there's two bags and then there's some like mem memorable tops and like merch that I have. Now onto the main thing. If you can tell, I kind of colour coded it, <laughs> kind of. Um, it didn't really work that well but here we are. I've got all my onesies at the top and I think there's some hoodies behind it because I used to buy a load of hoodies when I went to gigs and yeah I just like all my clothing basically. I have a box down there with all my swimwear, my college bag, I didn't know where to put it and a duvet that doesn't actually fit my bed, that was my old duvet. Um, here's my tripod, it's great, love it. Um, this is going to be a Disney pin board. As you can see, I've only got a few pins at the moment, so <laughs> it's looking a bit bare. I'm hoping when I go back to Disney, I'll get a few more or try and find some that aren't so expensive. So here's my second cork board. It's got a lot of photo booth photos on, Polaroids. A drawing that Maisie made me like ages ago. Thought it was really cute. Um, and yeah, some just like boy band little cards that I got given or like took. <laughs> Not like they were free. I didn't have to pay for them. Over here is my Just Keep Swimming sign. It's a quote from Dory. And here's a little pot of pins. This has... Um, the backs of these pins on because why not? I got this from my mum this year actually. It's really cute. It's like a Mickey holding a bunch of flowers. These things here I got from my Granny Jean's house when she passed away. I have just like a whole bunch of nail varnishes in here and just nail care basically. I don't really do any of the makeup <laughs> Um, the fact that I just said that really proves that. This is like perfume stuff. I need to get more. Here is just a bunch of Disney toys, because why not? Um, this shelf is kind of miscellaneous. I've just put stuff that I didn't know where to put. Behind these framed photos, there's all my Disney ears and basically head accessories. So I've got a United Vibe cap, apart from all the beanies, because they would never fit there. <laughs> And lastly is like my tech shelf, <laughs> if you want to call it that. Moving round to my bed and yeah, my famous Polaroid wall. I wouldn't say it's famous, but <laughs> you know, it's definitely got smaller in size after a few clear outs of ones that I had because I just had some stupid ones that weren't even nice. <laughs> So I took them down and now I've got like all the best moments memories up here so I can just add to it as and when because I have like a whole wall to fill. These two here, that's an Akuna Matata little quote. This is for that. Um, I've moved it there because it fell off the wall so many times like in the middle of the night. 
I can't even tell you. On the top of my chest of drawers, I have got <laughs> so many business cards of mine. I still need to try and figure out what to do with them. I have a hairbrush, a bit grim. It's got loads of hair on it. I've got two scrapbooks that I've, I'm still doing this one. I finished that one, but it's just, it's too big to put anywhere else. This is like my little box of daily things. So like hair grips, deodorant, little sprays. Um, this is a box of also mi miscellaneous stuff. I've got translucent powder, <laughs> stepping up the makeup game. And then all my lip products, <laughs> Vaseline and lip scrub. This box, as you can kind of see, there's a lot in it. This is a money box that little Katie got me. A charger is wrapped around it. I've got a mini um, ring light here. This is my HB sprocket. Underneath is a math set, because I still haven't passed. <laughs> These are as many wristbands to everywhere, like United Vibe, um, Wigsteed Park, and my JLS sticker that's still on my wall. So that's just about everything. Oh, I have this elephant um, little, I don't really know what it's called, but I got it from a zoo when I went on holiday to Torquay. I remember that years ago and it just hangs there and it blows in the wind when the window's open. It's quite nice. <laughs> and yeah. That was my room tour, hope you liked it. Sorry there's not much to it. I'm hoping one day I'll be able to paint these walls a different colour, but for now they are pink. <laughs> Thanks for watching, enjoy the rest of the vlog. Okay, sorry about the freeze frame, it's a bit weird, but I never really did like little talky bits in between these shots. I just went from room tour, workout, animal crossing, um, which is a bit poor of me I know but here's a mini workout that I did in time lapse because I'm too scared to show you in real time enjoy <laughs> For this part in the vlog, I thought as Animal Crossing is quite a popular theme at the moment, I haven't got New Horizons, I'm too poor to get a Switch. <laughs> and I feel like if I got a Switch, I would only really get that game, so I don't think it's worth it. This is the next best thing, the Pocket Camp Edition. This is me and my little friend filled up. I have some little black shoes on, a raincoat because it's been rainy. I've got silver glasses on, a little like halo crown of leaves and I've got pigtails mainly because I don't really like any of the other <laughs> hairstyles. So I'm going to do a camper tour, a cabin tour and a campsite tour. I'm only going to show you the bottom of it because the top of it, I've just expanded it. It looks rubbish and I've kind of deleted everything because I didn't like it anymore. Although I do love the bottom of this. I've got some umbrellas there, a little framed picture of Filbert that he gave me. So I had to put it there. I've got a picnic um, basket, a little plant, a seat. I can sit on here, can't I? Oh. I'm having real trouble with sitting on things recently <laughs> in this game. I've got a little ukulele on the floor down there. I've got an aloe vera plant, a little cabin sofa. There's a teddy bear. Of course, there's a camera. I wish you could like see through it, but you can't. I can just like hold it. I've got some slushies because like who doesn't love a slushy? Got a cactus or a cacti. I don't know which one is the singular plant. <laughs> I think it's cacti. Um, I've got a, another tree and a little lamp and another seat. I love this rug. I do glitch in this camper and it's so annoying. So yeah. Oh, look at me sat there. <laughs> this is probably my favourite decorated area that I have done. That is my camper. So let's move to my cabin. I have got to level 50. I've got two levels. Now, I have changed this twice. Or, well, this is my second time, second design. My first design was like a log cabin, but 
I just couldn't find a rug that fitted nicely and I just really didn't like it. So I deleted everything and made it into a fashion studio. I have a lot of animals in here. They really love sitting down, clearly. <laughs> I wish they could interact with these um, clothes clothes and fabric rolls but they can't i made this into a fashion studio because they had a cookie that was a fashion shop type of thing and i think i got those rolls at the back and then i got this and a clothes stand so i thought i would just make this into a nice open arty space it's even got a room diffuser like it's fancy guys let's go upstairs yes i do like that floor it's one of my newest floors i've done this one it's a bedroom there's like a microphone so i like singing <laughs> it's got cds and i don't think i can do anything with that a little stool can i sit on it yes i can now guys please tell me if you like this bar or not i got it for maple because she wanted it um but it's just massive. I didn't realise how big it was. There's a little table with a TV. I actually realised that you probably can't see the TV from the bed. So never mind. My favourite chair. If my actual room in real life was big enough to have one of these chairs, I would love one. There's some sweets here because my animals, they can treat themselves. I love these lily lamps, like, they're great. And this is a little table with some towels and a basket. There's a bath and a sink. They can interact with that sink. I think it's actually full. I'm not really sure. And I've kind of separated it off, you know, privacy. I have got something um, building. It's a half pipe for my sporty animals <laughs> because i need to level them up i am also not sure about this campsite it's very random like i've got a bird cage here i didn't realize the other one had like candles in it never mind i like the swing in the tree they're cute she's playing with this um little counter i think it's a game counter now we go over to here this is just like the little outdoor area i got some skateboards because that bird over there as you can see this campsite is a mixture of things i'm not really sure if i like it or not but there we have it here's filbert he's my animal that helps me around everywhere so I'm definitely probably going to change this whole campsite now that everybody's happy and I've got a whole full house here. Let's just finally go to my garden. You can see all my symmetrical patterns. Um, oh no. <laughs> um, so yeah, that's my garden. Oh, my voice went really weird then. That's also the outside of my camper. It's like retro colours. I'm not sure about it. <laughs> I'm not sure about most things in this game. That was my cabin, camper and campsite. Wow, that's hard to say all at once. Tour on Animal Crossing Pocket Camp. If you have any suggestions about what I should do with this campsite especially, please let me know. The half pipe is teal is still wow is still building that's will be done in 15 hours wow <laughs> who has that time to wait i have no idea hey it's editing steph here realized that i didn't actually film an ending for this vlog so i'm really sorry but i hope you enjoyed it it's another one of these mix and match vlogs with a little bit of everything um it's probably going to be like this for quite a while until some events start happening because um, I don't really want to film like a whole day because I literally don't do anything. <laughs> as soon as events start happening again, I will be vlogging them. But for now, the mix and match homey vlogs will have to do. So I hope you like it. Give it a big thumbs up if you did. Please subscribe if you haven't already because that would be amazing. And yeah, have a good day, have a good evening, have a good month, <laughs> and I'll see you very soon. Bye!